Hey guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So I am here for the third year in a row testing out a new Too Faced Born This Way foundation shade. If you are new to my channel then you probably don't know that the reason I've tested out probably over 50 foundations here on my channel is because of the Born This Way foundation and because you know we've got some new things to play in including a new concealer. Let's just get right into it. So like I was saying three years ago the Born This Way foundation was the first foundation I featured here on this channel. It was at that time their darkest shade mahogany. I will leave that down below so you can see how that turned out but I'll let you know that it is the reason why I started the hunt for finding foundations that work on my skin tone and just foundations that offer dark shades in general. Well last year they expanded the shade range with one new shade in the shade Coco. I also did a video on that and I will also leave it down below and I like most of you or at least probably most of you have heard that Jackie Ina collaborated with Too Faced on expanding the shade range once again and I was watching the reveal video that she posted and you know I'm watching her swatch all the shades I'm like okay okay I see that gradient going on and then I hear her say you know I, I talked with Shanine on how she felt about you know shades and her skin tone blah 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 first of all I'm always gonna be surprised when anyone uses my real name because I'm just used to being referred to as too much mouth um, but I also wasn't expecting her to you know mention the fact that she had reached out to me at all she did I did tell her you know um, what I was looking for in foundations, what my perfect match was, and she said, you know, that that is why she created the shade Tiramisu, so that is the shade that I picked up, and that is the shade I'm going to be trying in this foundation today. Now, this foundation retails for $39 for one fluid ounce. This now comes in 35 shades, and I believe there are another four shades after Tiramisu now, maybe four or five, somewhere around there, but... We're gonna see how tiramisu works today. Oh, I did not prime my face yet. So I figured we would stick with the whole Too Faced thing today. So I'm gonna use their Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I probably really do need this primer anyway since, you know, it's extremely hot here in New York. I had to turn the AC on just so I could film this video and I'm still hot. And now for the actual foundation. I feel like this is really just a test of the shade since I, I've had so much experience with this foundation in the last three years. Um, yeah, and I know quite a bit about the formula, which I believe has not changed, so. So this is it on my face. I'm gonna give it a couple seconds there to dry. Let me just check the undertone of this one. I don't remember. Okay, it's a golden undertone okay so that is the foundation on my face now moving into concealer it is also new it is also by Too Faced it is their super coverage multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade chestnut chestnut also has a golden undertone um I was going to go for the concealer that had a neutral undertone since I prefer more of a neutral uh undertone in my foundation and my concealer but the uh, concealer that I could use as a highlighting color that had a neutral undertone which was it was just way too way too light for me um, you know y'all could have pulled some of these like foundation colors and those concealer colors but I was watching Andrea Renee's video where she swatched um, all the darker shades on her face I'll leave that here for you to watch as well so that's why I went with chestnut we're gonna see how this goes though blending this out first of all this tube is huge okay you would think this itself is a foundation that you get, let's see what do you get with this, 0.50 fluid ounces for I believe $29, if I'm, I'm wrong the right price will show up here on the screen, but I'm pretty sure I paid $29 for this. Alright, that part blended in pretty easily, let's see, under the eye here, I feel like I low key use too much like this side of my face is much lighter than the other one but you know what it's all right we're just testing it out um to set my concealer i'm gonna use the ethereal setting powder that's also from too faced Let's see here. it's been a minute since i've used this powder if i recall there's nothing wrong with it it's just nothing is topping my beauty bakery powder for setting my under eye mix it the other side Wait a minute, let me let me find out I might have to go back to this powder for setting my under eye. I don't know why my hand is being so heavy handed today, but that's way too much powder on the side of my face. But I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face and do anything else that needs to be done where I'm using a product that's not, you know, like Too Faced related. 
and then finish my face off and tell you guys about the foundation and this concealer. We're gonna call it a day for my face. Alrighty then, had to pull my top down a little bit so we can get into this shade. Now like I said, um, when she did reach out to me and I was telling her about my shade, I pretty much told her that if every company could just give me the Cover FX N110 foundation shade, I would never have to complain about foundation shades ever again because this is my perfect shade in a bottle. So let me go ahead and, oh wait no, wrong hand. Let me go ahead and swipe that, swatch that on my chest there. So this is N110 from Cover FX. Make sure you guys could see that and now this is tiramisu the shade that i use today from too faced okay that's tiramisu then i have for you coco which was the darkest shade they put out last year which was the shade that i was using before this so that is Coco. So this is Cover FX N110. Uh, this is Too Faced Tiramisu, and then this is Too Faced. Oh, you can't even see my finger. This is N110. This is Tiramisu, and then this is Coco. So I would say the Cover FX Foundation and Tiramisu are pretty close. If you notice a difference, it's probably because the Cover FX Foundation has a neutral undertone, where Tiramisu has a golden undertone i feel like even on my face especially when i first put the foundation on you could notice that it had more of that you know golden undertone to it now i usually do prefer a more so neutral undertone which is why i feel like this is my perfect shade match but um as far as the actual shade goes i feel like it's pretty it's pretty much the same shade it's just two different undertones and i feel like um because of that on my face even though it is more of a golden undertone like it's still works out to where if I was going to wear a shade in this foundation it would be tiramisu I was rocking Coco for a good part of the end of 2017 but if you're looking at Coco here on my chest it's just slightly darker which I didn't realize until um, I used it in I think the last video that I, no two videos of two videos ago the laser hair video that I did I was wearing Coco as a foundation shade in that video and I think you can kind of notice that it's, it's just slightly darker. You know, I probably have to tan just a little bit more um, before I could use this shade. Or if I wanted to, you know, kind of balance out the golden in tiramisu, I would probably use Coco because Coco does have a neutral undertone. So that's how the shades are looking. Now for the foundation itself. Look, I've had three years of testing this foundation out on its own. And because of that, um, I feel as if it's not the friendliest for oily skin and it's, it's just it does not do well in extreme weather you know when it's extremely hot it, this foundation on its own just ain't it okay but this is a foundation that I mentioned in my yearly favorites and I was wearing it for a good half of the end of 2017 because I was wearing it alone okay I was wearing it with the of course Fenty Pro Filter you know I mentioned in the video that I did on that foundation that it is really matte so really any foundation I added to is just going to help with the matteness there but when I mix the this foundation with the pro filter I had no issues you know I've tried this foundation alone with just you know extreme primers and stuff like that but really I found like the only um way that it was uh it was holdable holdable y'all know what I'm trying to say on my face was when I mixed it with a foundation that was just extremely matte because it, it just look it's it's extremely hot here in New York. I have the AC on and I'm still sweating, okay? And I still have this Too Faced primer on, which if you've seen me, you know, talk about this primer before, I mentioned that this is a very mattifying primer. That's kind of the reason why I fell back from using it because I felt like it was too matte. So even with this on, um, with AC on and all of that, your girl is still sweating and I feel like my, my oil is probably gonna start showing through in like the next hour or so. So I don't feel like on its own, um, it'll do the best holding up in heat or just if you have oily skin, but if you mix in with other um, matte foundations, I feel like it one has a very nice finish and two is going to hold up on your face. And as for the concealer, I really feel like I can only give you like a first impressions here, but it blended out really nicely on my face. I would say that it is a full coverage concealer there and a little goes a long way. Okay, you girl used a little too much on her face which is why certain areas are looking a lot more highlighted than they one usually are two I would prefer and three just need to be this is 
okay to so far, no issues with my creasing. You know, I know it's early, but there are some concealers that I put them on and immediately I just know I'm abort mission. This is not going to work so far. I'm not seeing an issue, but I did also use that powder that kind of impressed me again today. But I'll let you guys know about the concealer. I really feel like the reason that I'm not just like overjoyed with this concealer is the undertone. I think it's a little too much golden undertone on top of the golden undertone in the foundation. So it's making my face look a little... I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know. If you see it, let me know in the comments, but it's, it's kind of bothering me. My hair is weighing down my eyelash. You know what? It's video's almost over anyway. Just, just forget about it. If you see it, just act like you don't. Um, but yeah, the undertone is kind of what's putting me off here because I feel like the center of my face looks really gold yellow right now, and I am not used to that at all. Um, and I kind of feel like I don't have that many options if I even wanted to get a different shade because you know depending on how this really wears wears this might be you know a banger of a concealer and I feel like if I just wanted to switch out shades I don't really have that many options because if I went down I'd really only have um, shades I could use as conceal shades and if I wanted to go higher I couldn't because those shades are too light for me to use as a highlight shade so I just kind of feel like I'm stuck here with chestnut um, so that's a downfall there of the concealers you know if you could just we keep a consistent ear to face of, you know, uh, making sure that we come out with a good amount of shades across the board of our products. That'd be great. Alrighty then, and that is it for this video. As far as did Jackie Ina make a foundation shade for me, I feel like she did. The undertone is slightly off, but I still feel like it works. If anything, it's not red. All right, it doesn't have me out here looking like carrot cake. So, um, and it's a shade that I can use, and you know, I don't feel like it's it's that off to where people would just be looking at me in public like. So did she make a foundation shade for me? I'm going to say yes, she did in my mind. I'm going to say that she made it for me, even though she made it for people who have, you know, like skin tones and undertones like mine. Um, as for the concealer, I, I think we're, we're, we're good for right now. We're going to see how it wears for the rest of the day. And then Too Faced, I'm going to need you to get on that, extending that shade range. Don't make us wait for like another three hours. I'm just saying three hours, three years. <laughs> Anyway, um, I hope seeing stuff on my face, I'm so, I don't know how you guys deal with me, I, I really don't. Um, I hope seeing this on my face and hearing some of my thoughts was helping. If you were thinking of trying any of this out for yourself, make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!